Good morning. Today is the second day of Feast of Tabernacles, the week we're commanded to rejoice. I'm going to have to make a little bit of extra effort to rejoice because so many things happen in this world that are very annoying and not necessary. For instance, I purchased four shirts, big white long button-down shirts because they're very good to work with in the garden and they were low price and this was on shop your way sears.com so instead of the shirts arriving four shirts they sent me four refrigerator filters okay so I let them know I went to the UPS store and I showed them on my phone the email they sent me with the return shipping label and the worker at the UPS store said that's not a proper shipping label and I said alright I'll pay the postage and I'll deal with them later I just need to get these things back these four refrigerator filters so I it's been five and a half weeks I was told that they would pay for the postage. They have not. So I'm planning to send them planning to send them a letter about it. And then I remembered that I was told by a post office employee that we can send anything in the mail. Anything. It doesn't have to be a box, a package, or an envelope. I mean, it, it could be a, a, you know, three by four foot uh, giant poster board. It could be a piece of wood. It could be a toilet seat cover. It could be anything, as long as you have the address on it. Okay, so this is what I'm planning to send. This is what I'm planning to send, see? This is the cover... Oh no, it's not an egg carton. It's what uh, what chicken comes in. You know those styrofoam things that chicken comes in? It's clean, of course. So I wrote on that and let them get this. You see, they sent me something I did not want, I did not ask for. So I think I should send them something that they wouldn't want. I mean, this, I need to send them something. This is, this, this, you know, little envelope, it's so easy for them to, you know, throw it in the trash. But this will make them, this will help them remember. This is something different. Maybe it'll even rem re amuse them, make them laugh. So maybe it'll, you know, soften their heart a little and they'll do something about it. This reminds me of the time when um, I was overcharged by a phone company. And um, so the letter I wrote to them, I wanted to make sure they would see it. And maybe they would feel amused and warm-hearted reading it. So I drew colorful flowers and hearts all over it and all over the envelope. And they refunded me. You see? You have to, like, sweeten things up make things more flowery, be dramatic, be entertaining, and, and maybe people will respond. Now, this is the cover of uh, plant saucers. You know, you put this on the bottom of your plant and to catch the water, like a plastic pot, you put it... This is just the label that was in the package. So this looks like something else that would be good to send to them. Maybe I could make this look like a big sun with rays, the sun in the sky with rays coming out of it. And it's not that the $12.76 is, is so big, but if they're doing that to everyone, they're becoming trillionaires for annoying people and being irresponsible.
Um, here's another one I could use. And if I want to continue this for years, I mean, I can, uh, I could take a, a, a plywood, you know, any size I want. Picture this, six foot by six foot, big letters there. I have not received the refund for my postage. I can drop, I can draw mermaids on it seahorses, anything I want. So this annoying thing with the $12.76 can be, become a, a tremendous art project and, and I can entertain myself with it. So this is what I mean sometimes when I say, you know, find some good in the situation or, or turn it around, use it for good. And, um, Whatever happens in life, just make the best of it. And believe me, I'm trying. I, nobody says I can't, I'm not trying.